Good evening. A jury has found Max Seeker guilty of murdering the three Singh children in one of Queensland's most shocking crimes. He faces life in prison for brutally killing his ex-girlfriend and her brother and sister in their own Bridgman Downs home. A mother's anger. I know my son. Let's go, Maxine. Do you understand? Maxine. My son did not send the bag. Maxine, family. You go there. Keep on off. Hey, 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 hey. And a mother's anguish. Mrs Singh, is there anything you'd like to say? Not at this stage. Shirley Singh sobbed uncontrollably when, more than nine years after her children's terrible, tragic death, a jury convicted the man her family had always suspected, Max Seeker. Horrible visions come to your, to your head. Horrible visions when you are told somebody. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, sorry. In April 2003, Max Seeker strangled his ex-girlfriend Neelma Singh, beat her siblings Kunal and Siddhi with a pitchfork, then dumped them in an overflowing bathtub. In the dock this afternoon, Seeker showed no emotion when the verdict was read out, but was defiant to the end. I didn't kill no one, he said. The Queensland justice system is corrupt. Sorry about that. Outside court, his family continued that same loud lie. They cover evidence. OK, they cover evidence. The police in this country cover evidence. Of course we'll f***ing appeal. The travesty of justice. Officers involved in the investigation fought back tears following the verdict. When we were uh, struggling and perhaps you know, uh, starting to um, second guess whether we'd ever actually ever solve it. Uh, it was the energy of the parents and the family that kept us going as well. This day is what the Sings have hoped for, but it doesn't lessen the pain, doesn't bring their three children back. Ashley McDermott, Nine News. Tonight, for the first time, we can show you what the jury saw. Nine News has obtained video and phone calls presented by the prosecution as evidence to convict a triple murderer. Max Seeker, the liar, the manipulator, the murderer, telling police a twisted tale. I was told them. And what did you see? What did you see? This crime scene walkthrough video was shot three days after his terrible crime was discovered. You can go in. We'll follow up. You don't want to go in. The 42-year-old always claimed he only found the bodies of his ex-girlfriend Neelma Singh and her siblings, Kunal and Siddhi, in their Bridgman Down homes in 2003. Oh, I wanted to take I wanted to take him out. Beg your pardon? I didn't, I didn't want him. I didn't want him to stay in the He was the one who called triple zero. Yes, I've got three dead bodies in a bathtub. Do you need an ambulance? <laughs> No, they're, they're on the floor. Okay, so how long have you been here, sir? <laughs> okay, take a deep breath. Today, more than nine years later, a jury of eight men and four women saw through his lies, found him guilty of three counts of murder. Only Max Seeker knows why he did it. His relationship with Nilma was certainly tumultuous. She was worried enough to record one of their phone conversations. I don't see any other way. I really don't, honey. Huh? We're driving your car off the mountain. It's a safe way. It's a way out of everything. Accidents happen. In... The why may never be revealed, but at least the Sings know he can never do it again. Matt Dunstone, Nine News. The verdict closes a tragic chapter in Queensland history that started more than nine years ago with a crime our state will never forget. April 22, 2003. And there's Max Seeker on the Sings front lawn, claiming he stumbled upon one of Brisbane's most shocking crimes. He called, he called, nobody was answering. So, uh, yeah, I think it, the door was open. So he went upstairs and he saw the blood, he saw the blood. The bodies of Neelma, Kunal and Siddhi Singh were found in an overflowing bathtub in their Bridgman Downs home. Their parents, Vijay and Shirley, were holidaying in Fiji at the time. They came home to an unimaginable tragedy. And whoever touched my children was a damn coward. I would say a real damn coward. <laughs> Where the siblings were found has become a shrine, their bedrooms virtually untouched. Photos and home videos keep their memory alive. <laughs> as soon as I get up, morning kiddos, like, that's what I say to them. 
Max Seeker, Nielma's ex-boyfriend, quickly became a person of interest, then number one suspect. Picking him up at Chermside this morning, police say Max Seeker is voluntarily assisting with inquiries. It makes me feel like, you know, everybody looks at me to say, oh, you know, who's next? Oh, I can't go near him. People shouldn't be scared of me, so there's no point to be scared of me. Five and a half years later, the 42-year-old was arrested and charged. It's the end of one and the beginning of another battle. And it was. Since then, it's been a life of cell blocks, courtrooms and salacious claims. The trial, the biggest of its kind in Queensland's history, heard of Max Seeker, the well-spoken father of two with a dark side. An ex-con hated by Neilma's parents, who could be cruel and bizarre. He emailed naked photos of Neilma to her family and friends when the relationship soured then lied about having a brain tumour to win her back. Are they sure it's a tumour? Yeah, look, they're pretty positive. It's been a cloud over his head and all he's ever wanted is the truth. The Sings were on trial of sorts too, though, forced to air a huge load of dirty laundry. Infidelity, domestic violence, a swingers club, even prostitutes in the family home. More pain for a family already enduring its own life sentence. I asked... A lot of questions, then why? <sighs> and I pray to God every day that no mother on the face of this head has to go through what I've been through. Brendan Hawkins, Nine News.